the view, the camera view here, um, there are a few different types of views and a few different ways of saving configurations for them. Sorry, one way of saving configurations for them. Uh, if you go to the view menu and go to views, uh, you can see there are three different view types here. Uh, the orbit camera is this camera where you've got this central focal point that you can turn around. An FPS camera, probably most of you are familiar with, it's a first person shooter camera. Uh, essentially your orbit point is directly on your origin. Uh, and then there's a top down orthographic view that lets you see directly from above in an orthographic perspective, or an orthographic view rather than a perspective view. So movement in all these is essentially the same. Uh, left mouse button rotates, middle mouse button pans around, right mouse button zooms, uh, as well as the mouse wheel will zoom if you have one. Uh, and that's true in the FPS as well. You're just rotating around something, something different. Now you can save any of the any of your views. So if you if you have a spot that you think is nice, it gets you uh, a good view on something you're trying to visualize. You can hit save current down here. Uh, you can save the view, and then you can go off and you can even change your target frame. Move over here. Double click back on that view. You can be back where you started with the same target frame as when you saved it. Uh, so this is quite useful for navigating around quickly to places that you know uh, that you know you want to be. One of the other things you can do in here is you can select things. Um, so if you go to view again and you open up the selection box. This is actually going to show you information about anything that you've selected. So you can select either by clicking this button up top or hitting the S key. Um, and when you select, you can no longer move around the world in quite the same way. Um, I need to change the hotkey for this right now. It's Alt, which Ubuntu causes to move the window. Um, but you'll be able to move around uh, if you disable that hotkey in Ubuntu. Uh, otherwise, you just have to select and then go back to move camera. You can select ranges of things, um, and it'll show you information in the selection panel about whatever you've selected. Uh, you can also, if you've moved off somewhere else and you want to go back to what your selection is, if you hit F, it is supposed to move you back to there. Uh, there we go. Uh, right. So if you're in selection mode, sorry, it doesn't work outside of selection mode. Uh, if you hit F, it's going to put your focal point onto the average position of all the things that, you're, that you've selected. So you select that, you go back to move camera, either by clicking up here or hitting escape, uh, and now your focal point is where you were. So select over here, hit F, come over here. And that's mainly useful just for navigating around and getting to where you want to be. Um, most of the things in the 3D world are selectable. There are certain things that are not. That's going to be getting improved in future releases. Uh, so one of the things that can be difficult in ROS uh, and in ART is in particular is diagnosing errors, figuring out when, in, when something is going wrong, exactly what is going wrong. So, Arv is uh, to, combat, to combat that, every display has a status item, and there's also this global status. For the most part, the errors that you're going to be seeing are going to be frame related, whether it's data being too far in the future, clocks not synced, frames not existing, things like that. Um, and so anytime Arv has received something that it can't transform after a certain amount of time, uh, it's going to show you an error. Um, and I'm going to put it into that error state by putting it into a fixed frame that just doesn't exist. So you can see as soon as I hit enter there, a whole lot of red showed up. Uh, not for the grid, because the grid doesn't do anything. But So the robot model, for example, uh, has a whole bunch of errors. And if you expand that error field, 
you see on the bottom that there is uh, a description of what is going wrong. And every other property uh, in the list has descriptions there too, but it's going to be telling you what, what that thing does. Here it's showing you what's going wrong. So it's telling you no transform from base footprint to yeah, yeah. Um, so for the robot model, something else might be going wrong. So if I've specified the wrong parameter, uh, instead of telling me that, it's going to be telling me that the parameter doesn't exist. Now for the global status, the global status is also showing you an error. It's telling, and it's saying fixed frame doesn't exist, and target frame, for, for the target frame, the fixed frame doesn't exist, so I can't transform into it. So generally, anytime you're seeing or not seeing data that you expect to be coming into Arviz, the first thing to look for is anything red in that displays panel. All right, so all these displays over here, you've got them set up the way you want them. Uh, now you want to save them out. Well, you can do that too. File, save config. Um, if you save that, and then you change some stuff around, you move this, you change, change your fixed frame, uh, and then you go to open it either through the recent configs option or through open config. It's going to load things, it's going to tell you what it's loading, and then you're going to be back the way you were. So a lot of our packages, like the navigation stack, will have Arviz configurations uh, that they will tell you to use in tutorials, for example, to show off what they want to show. Uh, so one of the other things that people often want to do with Arviz is uh, record from the 3D view for making movies. Um, and this is just sort of a, a quick introduction to a program called GLC, which will let you record any OpenGL application. So uh, if you're trying to follow along, go try and follow along for this. There's a wiki page. Uh, if you search for GLC, you'll find it on the wiki uh, for how to install it. 